what it is really is, uh, again, history reversed. So what I do to kill time, I can't, I can't stand uh, social media. So what I do is I read old newspapers from the 1840s, 1850s, 1860s. And I'm working on this novel, and this is where I got all the information. And eventually, I started writing these sonnets based in uh, 18th century, 19th century correspondence journalism. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so I would take the lines that I found and just put them aside, kind of like, and then just put them together. So now what I'm doing is I, I come across a correspondence location and I deep dive it. And um, then I write a little blurb about the place and then I come up with the sonnet afterwards. And I found this one. Uh, I'm going to start with New Salem. I'm the, his, the, I'm the uh, historian at the Voorheesville United Methodist Church, which was called the Black Creek Methodist Church. And uh, there was this guy named Peter O'Halloran who came here from Ireland during Black 47. And first place he came was here. He, his brother got him a job on the Broad Auburn Plank Road. And he became an alcoholic. Then he got another job on the Albany to New Salem Plank Road. And uh, eventually from uh, poisoned alcohol, while he was digging a grave in the New Salem graveyard, he went blind. So he's better known as Blind Peter. And his biography you can still find on Internet Archive. I have a, my own physical copy. So this one is called New Salem. I just pulled these lines. They just seem to call to me, and, and I, I throw them together in these random... Uh, okay, New Salem. Each one is titled for the location. The unspoiled countryside visible from our mountain mountains are a, a sight to behold. The wife of Henry Brandt, who has been seriously ill for a long time, is a long time seriously ill. Still, David Whitbeck has recently been seen bouncing through this place on his American Star bicycle. The American Star bicycle, actually, is a reoccurring uh, character in my book. The gold trim of its 60-inch polished and gilded rear wheel positively glints in the sun. Peter, our former gravedigger, had a fright that caused him much consternation. We learned this from his fine book that is now in its 14th printing. A box lunch party will be held at the Methodist Church to benefit the Reformed Church. Sheriff Hart and his men have been lately seen scouring the woods. Who was that man with a similar last name traipsing through the fields with his paints? You'd have to read the book to figure that out. Mr. Mann is boarding a Scotsman from downstate this week, who is lately from the Lawson's Lake. We understand that he has every sign of making board by painting signs. We are so... Uh, why are so many married men bald-headed? We noticed nine of them in the church on Sunday, and all were married. Not being a married man, we fail to understand why that is. If we can't get news from the outside world, we mu you must excuse us if we make some up ourselves. <laughs>